into your Wix.com account. Uh, you can embed all sorts of things like polls and surveys and pictures and slideshows and videos. The first thing you have to do is actually create those things on a different website. You could use Animoto, Poll Everywhere, SurveyMonkey, uh, Photo Bucket, um, all those types of things. So once you have your gadget created, whether it's a video or a slideshow or a YouTube or anything, you can grab the embed code from the website. Normally it's right around the gadget itself, like it could be in the bottom left, on the right. If you can't find the embed code, there's not a button for it or an area, then go ahead and search in your help on that website and find out where that embed code is. Once you have the embed code, which I'm going to go and get, I am going to use Photobucket for today. I created, I uploaded some pictures of my dog, and then I created a quick slideshow. Once I created the slideshow, there is usually like a share button or an embed button, or with a photo bucket, if you just highlight over top of what you have, it'll give you the HTML code right here. But I'm gonna go into share, just to kind of show you the different options. And then I'm gonna get to go to get link code because we're looking for code for HTML, for things that have a bunch of like icons and numbers and all sorts of stuff like that. And so what I need is the one for websites because that's where, where Wix is a website. So this is email, this is a link for a layout page like MySpace, HTML for websites. So I'm going to click inside the first box because I want it to be full size. I don't want it to be a clickable thumbnail, full size. And then I'm going to right click, oops, and copy. And then once I have my code copied, I can just kind of close out of that uh, website and I'm going to go back to Wix and now that I'm in Wix I can embed the code so I'm going to go down to widgets and all the way across to HTML and then if you had embedded a poll from poll, from poll daddy or a calendar or a video from Vimeo you have those different embed codes there but since it's something that's not here we just go to blank HTML and then I get my little HTML box. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but we have to add our embed code. So we go to settings. And then on the right hand side, you'll see insert HTML code. So I'm going to right click and paste my HTML code. So there it is. And I'm going to change the width and the height. I'm like it 600 by 400 just for fun. Okay. Uh, then I just click OK. And now my little widget's even a little bit bigger since I told it to go a little bigger. And then I'm just going to save it. Once I save it in Wix, it's still going to look like just an... Um, sorry, scroll down here. Uh, it's still going to look kind of funny, like it's just kind of a random box. The only way you can see it is if you actually publish the site. So I'm going to click on Publish. Now it's publishing my content, and I just click on publish again. And then now I want to go look at it and see if the slideshow appears. So I'm going to click on go, just to view it um, while I'm working. My slideshow, or on my website, I will now have a slideshow. There it is. So a video would show up here, or if you're just embedding a picture, or a poll, it would just kind of appear wherever you had placed it on your website.